Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is me, Lastly here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 107, finger points to the sky in a messy esque celebration fashion. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to, like I said, episode 107. Uh, today, I need to do a few things. Open up some probably uh, daily login stuff and then need to finish off my weekend league and get the rewards from all of that good stuff and see them, see the, see what we get from them. So if you do enjoy, can you do me a small favor and just hit the thumbs up button? It'd be amazing if we could get 2,000 likes on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to, as well to my channel if you're new. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> you guys know what we're rocking with with the squad, don't you? And yesterday, towards the end of the episode, once we got our sixth win in champs, which we're currently seven and three, but once we got our sixth win, we got a player pick uh, from the objectives area and got ourselves the fella that sat that down there on the bench, Adama Traore, went to wild cards. So it could be a particularly good super sub going forwards, right? I think so. Now, the only thing I can get now from winter wild cards swaps is if I get three tokens together, I can get myself um, an 81 times 11. So... I'm working on just getting that. I'm sure that will just happen naturally, to be honest. But other than that, I can't earn enough tokens to get all of the other stuff. Um, I know we kind of messed up early on, but I thought there was more tokens up for grabs than what they what what people then told me there was. So that's why we can't get the 83 by 75. That would have been nice, though, of course. In my daily winter wildcards players loan, I get Tamori as an option again. Um, but I've already got him, so I decided to just get a Robins, uh, Robinson? Robertson, uh, because, hey, why not, right? <clears throat> I'll add him to the club. Uh, I, I, I never really use these loans, so I'll probably just end up discarding them at some point, but I guess at some point maybe we could at least give him a go. I'm not sure. I don't really love loans, I'll be honest. From a two-player pack from that SBC, though, we get ourselves a Kalor Navas. There's no complaints whatsoever with getting an 88-rated Kalor Navas in a two-rare goal player pack. You just can't... You, there's no issues there. Let me get lights up for this one. Is it going to be a... Oh, no. It's my 85 times two. And we get two 85s. Um, certainly, certainly, certainly could have got better from that. And it was the bare minimum that we literally could have got. Oh, well. It was literally free for, for one bronze player. So, no complaints from Lasty. As we head on in to our first game of our second half of Foot Champs, I come up against a lovely squad. The guy was destroying me. He had Jezinho. He had uh, Ginola. He had all the possession and was just solid on this game. I could see another header to Jezinho this weekend. Um... And I just think he was a good player. And I'm 7-3. and three, And that for me is quite high, like, record. Normally, I'm more like 5-5. Five and five, uh, Or 4-6. and six, Or something like that. So, the second half of my weekend league, I leave to, like, the last day. And then it gets a bit easier because I've got a terrible record. And we get our 11 wins that way. Well, this time, I was playing it all in one day. <clears throat> and I had a high record for that point in time. So... Yeah, probably going to be a little bit of a lose-lose. And it's going to be a lot more uh, stress and, and and something that feels like hard work. Um, but as you can see, Adama's even on in the first half in this game. So I brought him on because Butragueno just was annoying me. And I hadn't got to half-time in many of my games. And that's normally when I make my first sub or two. So, yeah, I wanted to give, uh, give Adama a try. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of a sore throat and a cough coming on. Uh-oh. Who knows? We, could we be getting ill? Well, I hope not. Um, anyway, we go into extra time against this fella. Oh, things just go from bad to worse. Uh, I just thought eventually I'd get the winner against this guy, and then I obviously didn't, and I leave at 4-2. So annoyed. Like, literally, I was... My blood was boiling at this point. Um, so I just needed a nice, easy game, because, you know, we lost our first couple... Can we, can we get a nice, easy game, please? Well, this guy was good as well. Uh, scores that back post header. One, I think my goalie should be coming and claiming that. Two, I don't think I should have a fullback that gets beaten at the back post like that. Um, which sucks, but yeah, it is what it is. 2-0 down at half time, But I had had more shots and a very high XG to have not scored a single goal. So I sort of stuck it out a little bit longer. And then I conceded this and just wanted it all to be done with. 
I wanted I wanted no more part of the weekend league after conceding a scorpion kick from the edge of the box. I let him watch it again because that is just phenomenal. That is that, that's a beautiful goal. I just don't know if he meant it. I didn't think he was that great of a player, but I've got to give him props for scoring that. That's a beauty of a goal. If I'd have scored that, uh, it would have made my uh, my entire weekend league. So fair play. And at four nil. I thought, right, well, there's no coming back from that one, is there? So I'll uh, I'll take my leave. But Billy, that was a cracking goal from, I think it was only the base uh, hero, Rudy Voller. So, yeah, GG's. I conceded a, an edge-of-the-box scorpion kick, ladies and gentlemen. How embarrassing is that? Uh, but what a goal, nonetheless. Into the next game, then. We've lost three in a row. We've gone from seven and two, uh, sorry, seven and three to seven and six. Uh-oh. Uh, so essentially, that's four losses in a row anyway, because we were seven and two. Um, but that was in the last session. Uh, so yeah, hopefully a win can come from this game. Otherwise, I am in real, real bad trouble of uh, potentially not getting the 11 wins, which would be annoying on two counts. One, it would mean that we don't get the extra player pick from the objectives. And two, it would mean we get the worst rewards because we will have essentially failed. And this game was going like... I would score, he would equalise, I would score, he would equalise. Eventually, we bucked that trend uh, by going 4-2 up rather than him getting a goal back. And at that point, I really just needed to take a step back and just relax a bit because I think I was letting it all get to me. Um, so we brought on Harry Kane and he did his magic. We ended up keeping a 5-2 lead and, uh, yeah, just sort of saw that game out. It was re really important, I think, to get that win right there. Because even if we end up losing the next couple, like, we've still kind of got a chance. We've got our eight wins now. Just three more to go. Um, lots of gold cards in there and a couple of players that I don't think look that amazing. So I was hoping to get the dub here. We go 1-0 up. 2 minutes 55 seconds. Could this be an easy game? Well, no, because look at the stats at half time. He's actually bossed it, but I've somehow managed to keep him from scoring. Into the second half we go. Adama's on the pitch. Kane's on the pitch. And we score after 65 minutes. There's the 2-0 goal that just makes things a touch easier for you. Uh, and then I score this for a beauty. Oh, Harry Kane. That shot of yours is phenomenal. And he dashboards before we can even uh, before he can even kick off after that one. So I get the dub. <clears throat> There's nine wins. At least we're at another like checkpoint now. So if I if if I lost the rest of my games, I would have the nine win rewards, which aren't too bad. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, desperately wanted to try and get 11. Nice squad again. Really solid. Lots of great players in this team. Could see myself losing this one if he's a good player. Um, but a really well-worked goal for me. I did everything right in that little play. Um, even to the point of just staying a little bit composed and waiting to see if he was going to move his goalkeeper. Which he did. Um, but then he equalises on me. I run straight down the other end to get a goal. Again, pausing to compose myself because I knew he was a goalkeeper mover. Uh, but then it just goes south real quick. Why the goalie's not coming out and getting to that, I have no idea. Why the defender's not sliding across and getting to that, I have no idea. I can't defend. I give the ball to Di Maria on the edge of the box. It's just gone. It's all gone Pete Tong. And I was getting done 65-35 in possession. And you know that that makes my blood boil. I've said it countless times, that exact phrase. Um, so when he makes it 4-2 here, I think I was just done. I wanted no more part of playing against that fella. He was annoyingly too good, and I hate to admit that, but he was better than me. And I hate saying anyone's better than me, whereas loads of people are. It's just That's just like an ego thing, isn't it? No one likes to play FIFA and think, yeah, this guy's better than me. It just doesn't ever really happen. It's always a stressful time when you come up against someone that is just superior in every single way. Um, well, I get myself a 2 new rage quit in the next one. Uh, which is good because now we're on 10 wins. Now I literally need one win from three matches. All right. Can that happen? Can I make that happen? Surely I can. If not, that's a bottle. That's a bottle and a half. So into the next game we go. And there was something wrong with this. It took a while to load in. He was not skipping anything. I see this team and I'm like, oh, he's going to gift me a win. What a legend. And then I see that I'm playing up against... Oh, I've missed the first goal, by the way. Sorry, they scored. I was playing against the AI. Someone's either cheating on PC or it's a bug or a glitch. I'm sure it's some sort of cheat or hack, right? Um, where I'm playing against what feels like even more difficult than Ultimate AI. Um, despite it being a non-rare gold team, he was still ridiculous. 
well, the computer was still ridiculous. Look at these passes and stuff. I can't defend that. And every shot they took felt like it had like 99 or, you know, yeah, literally like 100 on the sliders for power and accuracy. So I was getting destroyed by the computer. When it was two all, I thought maybe there was a chance and we could just try and keep the ball. But then, yeah, uh, this, this annoyed me to no end because, like I said, I had three games left to, to get one win. Now I've only got two games left to get one win because I quit this one or I'm you know, def def definitely going to lose uh, against that, that AI. It was just ridiculous. So I've beaten them once when I did that, but that was a worse team than the one I beat. And yeah, I, I don't know. It was, it was impossible to play against, let me tell you that. I'm sure a few of you have done that. I may even have to just go ahead and turn cross-platform off and play against only Xbox players because it's a waste of time when you come up against the AI, right? It's just cheating. Um, anyway, luckily, with two games to go, I got what was my uh, my final win. I was 3-0 up and the guy quit. So, uh, yeah, we were done, you know, with, with one game to spare. So, with that all done and dusted... I was a raging mess and I thought, you know what? I just wanted to I wanted to get these rewards ripped open and then get off my Xbox as soon as possible. So sorry for for no live reaction to this, but I can try and pretend if you like. 1 of 4 84 plus. Oh my god, we get ourselves a uh, win a wild card Garrido. Why is he there, by the way? It's such a trash card. It's rubbish. So we take ourselves the Kalor Navas duplicate. I'll discard him in a sec. Player pick number two, 84, 84, 85, 85. I guess one of them's all right because it's Jesus Corona. Uh, we'll take the special card, I guess, but it's still it's only an 85, isn't it? It's not great. And then an 88 in Donnarumma. Yeah, no complaints, really, of getting two 88s in those player picks. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll discard Navas for now. Someone remind me in the next couple of days. I need to claim him back and use him in an SBC. Probably the icon player pick, actually. Um, and then, <coughs> excuse me, frog in the throat. Uh, we get ourselves a 1 of 4, 84 plus for 11 wins. And we get a win of wild cards. We get 87 rated Kevin Prince Boateng, who has the same stats as his brother Jerome from a previous FIFA. A previous Futmus, I believe it was. So we that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, and yeah, we we get something there. So from our from the the two objective player picks that we got for playing the weekend league, we got ourselves two winter wildcard team two players. No complaints at all. From the um, is it from one of the? It's from the eighty three by five. We get ourselves an eighty eight Sula and an eighty eight Bernardo Silva. Hey, that's good as well. We get you know Hummels and Davies as well. I'm going to sell the 288s probably, unless I need them for the icon pack, then I'll uh, I'll keep them for a bit. But um, <clears throat> 50k pack, as you would expect, <laughs> absolute trash. Uh, yeah, just rubbish. Um, 83s is the best, three of them. And then the ultimate pack, one of the best packs on the game. We get, we get a walkout. It's a gold walkout. It's going to be Spanish CDM from Man City. That is an 87 rated Rodri. So... Overall, my rewards weren't too bad, uh, and uh, given the fact that we got the added rewards from player picks and stuff, it makes it look like they're pretty good in the end. It was a stressful weekend league. We still came away with the 11 wins, though. Um, thank goodness, because I would have been... I was so fuming that I would have been... I don't know. I'd have been mega fuming. That might have even been controller ending for me. I might have for the first time in a few years broken or bust a controller if I'd have uh, missed out on my 11 wins then. But I don't do that anymore, so... Uh, I definitely wouldn't have done that. Um, <laughs> anyway, I don't really want to see Ismaili in my team anymore. I really want to try and pull Schweinsteiger out as well. Uh, and yeah, the front three is is all good and all that. But uh, maybe we just make some changes, you know, try and get some of the new boys in, uh, do a couple of SBCs. You know, maybe we do the icon player pick and we get lucky. We get ourselves Eusebio or a Pele. That'd be amazing. More likely, we'll get ourselves a Van Nistelrooy, but, you know, is what it is. Um, guys and girls, thank you for watching today. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. I'd love to uh, to, to see 2,000 likes on this video. That'd be amazing. Uh, and subscribe as well to the channel if you're new. Cheers. You can let me know in the comment section below what you either got in your Foot Champs rewards or your Icon player picks. I'm curious to know. 
follow my social medias there down below. You can tweet me pictures of what you got in them as well. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, hope you all have a wonderful day. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Hope you're enjoying 2023 so far. I am. And well, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Peace.